name's Grunder. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us again. We're going to be carrying on with the dinette today. We've positioned these chairs in their final position and the thinking behind it is that we're going to have, um, these are going to convert into two single beds. So the next job would be to mark off these pieces of timber and they're going to stretch between the two seats and they're going to form like a single bed with slats on the top. Yeah, they're six foot, six foot beds. Once they're um, finished, they'll be six foot yeah. sleeping space. Yeah. These brackets you can see here, um, it was the original idea that we, we decided to use these flush fitting brackets. Yeah. Um, but up the other way, they were supposed to go upwards. Yeah, but, um, but because of the slant of the front of the dinette chairs um it, you weren't able to lift the those pieces of timber that you've just seen me marking off you couldn't lift them in and out easy enough so we thought well if we sit them on the side it gives you a bit of play when those slats lift out you can then slide those two braces towards the center of the chairs and then drop them down below the height of the seat and then you can remove them but as you'll see later on it, uh, we changed that. We idea. changed that idea. Um, <laughs> they were too loose. They didn't yeah, work. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't safe enough, and we weren't comfortable with it. So we've we've uh, abandoned that idea and gone to something else. But you'll see that further on. Now all the bed slats were sorted out, we, it was time to work out where we wanted to do the the platform in front of the chairs so the table would be the right height. So we sat sat the pole on some bricks, used a bit of scrap ply that we had, what we cut away from the porthole and uh, started working out how we wanted them. As you can see. Aidy got the nice job of sitting down. He stayed there for about Two half hours. an hour. <laughs> Thinking. <laughs> yeah, and swishing. Swishing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it then. Get me dinner.
rear of these platforms uh, that go on the port and starboard of the boat are actually a little bit different. Um, the reason for that is on the port side of the boat there's a hot and cold feed pipes running down there and they run slightly lower level than on the starboard side where the central heating pipes go. So it gave us a little bit more space if you like because on the, on the starboard side where the central heating pipes go we still want to be able to get to those pipes because there are actually fittings behind there that feed the radiator so that side of the boat you will see that it, it's a, it does actually look slightly different to these but the principle of the making these bases are basically the same we've left a gap either side of the stand just so that in future we can always pull these forward just like that if ever we need to remove those and leave the chairs in place. painted all the seats um, the top bit we've given only a couple of coats but some areas we've done um, free coats and made it sort of like really good um, that reason being for that is most of these chairs are being upholstered so you're not going to actually see much of the green there's only going to be small areas that you actually see so now they're all done we got the, the kids in to test them out, see how they like their new beds and um, see how they can pull it together themselves. What are we short now? One more? Just one, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. That's one. That's one done. So when we got some cushions, They'll go all on there. Yeah. Sit. <laughs> no night. You sleep that way. <laughs> no night. You can sleep that way. You can sleep. Yeah, that it's better to have your pillar that way because when the boat's on the water, it will be going down a little bit that side. Towards your so feet. that bit will be up. Yeah. So it's better to have your pillar that side. Stop having that headache in the morning. Do you like it? You must fall out of bed. No, you won't. You might do. Next job was to use up all the bits of ply that we've got laying around that we've used for other projects and use them for the 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 floor, the top of the what platform. we're calling it, platform, platform. plinth. Yeah, plinth yeah. yeah. And so the easiest way to do it was lay the frames that AD had just made on top of on top of the ply, draw around them and then draw all our cut marks where we want them cut can i just can i just stop you there because yeah the easiest way would have been to just get this bit of ply and fasten it to the top of them and leave call it a day <laughs> but for anybody that's watched our vlog that ain't going to happen on this boat <laughs> so carry on H. Yeah. yeah but then it would have been wasted no, storage ca yeah. space yeah yeah so i decided yeah <laughs> that we would have lots of different compartments so some parts of this will be um, nailed down and you won't be able to open it. Some bits will be just there, like the bits that's going to go over the radiator pipes will be able to come out um, if needed. And then the rest, oh, and the bit where the table leg goes in, that's going to be solid. And then the rest will be uh, to be able to just lift open. Out, like lift out lockers, if you like, on the lids. Then of course they get a lick of paint 
like everything else. So now it's time to get all the bits cut out and you made the hole for the yeah, table. This is like the, the base plate for the table leg, if you like. And why do I keep saying if you like? But yeah, if you like. <laughs> Because you like it. Yeah, but as you can, yeah, you can see there, that's where the table leg slots into, so yeah. Each table will have one leg, um, but we're also putting brackets on the wall, so it won't just be held up with just this one stanchion. Sort of balancing in the air, or yeah. just balancing on, relying on that one leg. Yeah. yeah, it'll be relying on the brackets on the wall. wall as well, yeah. Right, now let's get carpeting them. <laughs> Stick with it. So, right, what I wanted to do was carpet each panel. So, it's a carpeted area, but we can still open all the hatches. So, I'm gluing the, the carpet down. And I once saw, but I don't know whose video it was, but it was a, an American guy doing his bow, and he done his corners like I'm going to do now um, I can't remember who what what channel it was but I just thought it was a good idea to hide all the edges so instead of just cutting the corner and sort of like mitering that corner and laying it down flat he took a section snipped um, like left a, a long piece um, stuck the the mitered section down and then use that piece he'd cut off that long piece to cover over the join and at first I thought it might um, be too bulky for when the step went down but once we tried it, it it worked really well so I stuck with that idea just can't get down there with the scissors
plan B. Well, then I will straighten it up myself. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's going to really keep moving, isn't it? We've just added some extra blocks to this frame now just to add some strength to the panels that fit on there and also that's where the table uh, like bracket support mount the mount for the table is going to be so that just gives it a bit of meat there that's all and also we've put some just a couple of brackets either corner just so it stays square while we're setting everything up we're going to be adding more to the floor but uh, these are just in there for now just so that we can see if everything fits really so yeah um so, we can put these so we'll start putting the bits on yeah so that goes on that side yeah the other then one. this one goes on that side there this one goes in the back And we've got one for there. That's the idea of these blocks then, you see. That one there. One on that side. And then that's where the, the table's going to sit. That's good. So the one where the table's going to sit is going to be um, sealed down. So we won't get into that one. Um, and then we've got the, these are two like hatches and that's the long hatch and we can store lots of the bed pieces in there. In fact, shall we just uh, lift that one back out and then? These are going Oh in. yeah, no. Yeah, it's all right. These, well, are... these are the uh, supports for the bed, so they're going to just store all those in there and the slats and stuff will stand in there as well yeah so it's just a place that you're not gonna have to get to all the time it's just to keep them out of the way isn't it? yeah so yeah and i'm gonna put some uh little tab little cloth tabs uh, yeah. on them to pull them up rather than have handles set in because we don't want them under our feet when we've got bare feet and no. stuff the handles so um so i'll just use those tabs Yeah, so drilling through carpet, a little bit hazardous. Yeah. Unless you, you can burn a hole through it, or you can do my tip. You can have a go at my tip, Aid. If it goes wrong, it's on to blame. Good. You got that on camera. So H's tip is to wrap the screw threads in tape so that the thread the screw threads don't catch the carpet fibers and then you end up with a great big line where it's caught it don't you so let's have a give it a go would you want me to try and break the carpet first with the hole punch um just to give it a double whammy Whatever that is. I've just had it. Oh, there, on the paint. I wonder if you hit it. No. Is that just compressing it or I don't know? I think that helps push through the rubber, I think. 
And I think it'll stop anything to do with the... Yeah? Yeah, go on. There you have it, top tip from H, and it works. It does work, oh, doesn't yeah. it? And we've also got brackets to go on there as well for the table. I wouldn't like to just rely on that as my table, would you? Uh, no, no. Although, I'll put it standard, I think, aren't they? Yeah. But, yeah. Perfect. You might wonder why we've got it not quite in the centre. Because what, where yeah. your leg, yeah, yeah where, where your legs go is there, yeah. not, not over at that far. Plus, under I've, the got, I've got one massive right foot and then one size three <laughs> left foot. So it's perfect. Fat yeah, I've got size 14 right, size 3 left. So it's, it's alright. But no, it does work better for me. blocks in at the ends um, to obviously stop the these coming from any more forward but the back ones will stop them uh, going backwards time for a bit more paint and as you can see I'm not allowed a big paintbrush yet so <laughs> I ain't graduated to a two inch so I'm left with a kids one <laughs> That's a really good paintbrush. Fabulous. I like using that one. The paints we're using um, on this, and it's the same stuff that we used in the kitchen, and it's uh, paints by Little Green, and it's National Trust paints. It's so nice to go on. Um, with this bit, we're not we've not put an undercoat on, but the, their undercoats are really lovely, and they match the same colour as the the paint. Well worth spending a bit more money and getting these paints i actually like it better than the farron ball stuff it just uh, goes on really nice 
Um, the colour we used in the in the kitchen is sky blue, and the colour we're using in the dinette is Boxington. Boxington. Yeah, Boxington. So yeah, well worth it. <laughs> Because we want to be able to move the, the chairs in and out if we need to move them, especially when I come to upholster them, they've obviously got to be pulled out. And the floor, we want to be able to move that out if we ever need to get to anything or we don't want it there anymore. So we, when we put these pieces of um, cladding onto the frame, we're trying to leave a little gap down the side of the chairs Then once um, that it's all finished, we can we're going to put a frame around each area of the painted area that you will see, because the fabric comes down quite far. There's only small areas of the green that you will see, so we want to like frame each section. So frame the platform, frame the chair, so it will we'll be able to disguise that yeah. gap but it's there if we need to pull anything out. Now you can see what I was talking about earlier where both sides of the boat, these platforms are let slightly different. And this one, as you can see, is where the radiator sits. And just in front of the radiator pipes that disappear sort of and connect into the main feed, we've cut out a little uh, a recess either side so that if ever we need to work on that pipe, that pipe work or, or check if there's any leaks or anything, we can just flip those panels out and get our hands in and, and do any work there without having to struggle too much. Fastened everything down with 40mm panel pins. Is that exactly off the carpet? <laughs> yeah, just about, yeah. We're not putting too many uh, pins in, in case I ever want to change the carpet, which will <laughs> probably be regular. <laughs> so uh, they're easy to like prise up. It's just as long as they keep them nice and secure down and hold all the, the lids in place. So this carpet is really, really a cheap way of doing it. Uh, these were just... Um, mats not great quality mats either but they were only four pound each so it didn't matter if we went wrong and so it was all a bit of an experiment at first um but yeah easy to change easy to replace and uh, they do the job well <laughs>